Hello, my name is Eir Herling and I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Checkpoint. Today we'll talk about Checkpoint's innovative way to correlate and expose threats inside and against your organization based on a Splunk SIM platform. As we learned, R8020 offers a revolutionary way to investigate and analyze threats in a fast and intuitive way. As part of the collaboration with Splunk, we have developed several cybersecurity dashboards that map the security incidents into a true threat landscape of your organization with actionable insights. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's log in into our Splunk environment and review the new Checkpoint application capabilities by clicking on the app inside the Splunk side menu, like so. On this landing page, we have a general overview of our environment in real time, consisting of how many gateways there are sending data to Splunk, your security trends, which blades and security technologies are enabled and preventing threats according to the security policy, and of course, high-risk applications. And the list goes on. Today, we'll click on the Threat Prevention Protection, located in the upper menu, and choose the first dashboard, which labeled as Cyber Attack Overview. As you can see, not only did we aggregate and correlate all threats across all the blades and technologies, we also expose the trends of attacks against organization per the attack vector. Finding the needle in the haystack doesn't seem so hard anymore. Another cool dashboard I like is the Sandbox Protection View. Let's click it. In this dashboard, we can review in a very simplified way all the malicious files that were attached to emails that were found by our advanced uh, Sandblast engine or downloaded by users. Instead of traditionally trying to query for malicious activity and create your own table of content for malicious files, we've created a predefined view for you, meaning you don't need to formulate a long, cumbersome query in order to get your security report or dashboard. We have done all the hard work for you. So how can you achieve this with your current checkpoint and Splunk configuration? Easy. Go to the Splunk base app store and download the checkpoint app. That's it. If you wish to get more information regarding threat prevention logs fields, go to that link and click on the log field section on the left side of the menu. Needless to say, sending logs to SIM application like Splunk is based on the log exporter capability available in R8020. You can review the exporter's functionality in the following SK. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this talk. I know I have. Join the conversation, connect and share with Checkpoint experts and the entire community at community.checkpoint.com. Thank you.